Uh, good morning to you. This is Kakaki Social. I'm Rena Obozige. Now let's begin from Lagos State this morning, where the state's governor, Babajide Somo Luchis, they went after commercial motorcycle riders plying against traffic along the Lagos Badagri Expressway. Now in a trending video on social media, it captured the moment the governor stopped his convoy and went after the riders. However, on sighting him, the Okada riders campered away with some of them leaving their bikes and passengers behind. Well, nonetheless, some of them were arrested by the Samuel Lute team, including one who introduced himself as a soldier. Visibly angry governor right there. Let's see some thoughts. Ekiti, baby governor says, I still don't understand why people in Nigeria tend to risk their lives by encouraging lawless acts through patronage. If I am governor, some will, will ensure those caught are dealt with properly and also publicize it to deter others. The audacity of the soldier for me, Unai, be smarting. Olawele says, funnily enough, now police and soldiers, they break Okada law and other paths. Come to Ikeja and see them. And then for Casper, it says the theatrics of Somolu on the streets of Lagos made me laugh aesthetically. Also felt extreme disappointment. Why aren't the authorities doing their job as they should without no one, no one state citizen present? Well, because they can be bribed and they will compromise their position. And more thoughts from gentleman. He says, the arrest and put inside SUV. Wow, the arrest goes sweet too. But for all we know, it says there is another reaction down there. He was reacting to that thought. Who says... Yes, yeah, Obino says he will be sweating even inside the AC. And I thought that was funny. I mean, you're arrested by a governor and you want to enjoy SUV. Oh, shame. Now, let's see. The federal government has announced the suspension of accreditation and evaluation of degree certificates from republics of Togo and Benin. Now, according to the Federal Ministry of Education, the suspension would last until the result of investigation, which will involve Nigeria's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the two countries, the ministries responsible for their education over there, as well as our own DSS and the NYSC. Now, this is caused by the undercover by journalist Umaru Aoud do that claims a Cotonou based university issues degree certificates within six months. Then you come to Nigeria as a citizen, you are cleared to join the NYSC scheme, and because you are a graduate, which only happened in six weeks instead of four years at least. Now, Mohammed says, not enough. We can't continue to be reactionary to very terrible issues like this. We fish out the perpetrators and punish them. All those with such certificates in these services of the government must be fired. <laughs> Only drastic measures like this will end this kind of shenanigan. And for another user, Unwa Fresh says, what is even painful is that when they call for foreign students in camp, 90% finished in Bene Republic. And Anthony Chuka says, this journalist, Mr. Umaru, and his team should be given national recognition and award and must, must in capital letter, must be protected. And I think protection is the key word right there. But let's see 
how all of this would happen and what the government would be doing with the result of their finding that if they find anything. Mm. Now, reactions are trailing the ban on foreign student dependence by the United Kingdom. The Britain Home had announced that the unreasonable practice, as they prefer to put it, of overseas students bringing their family to the UK will end as restrictions on visa routes come into force. Now, it is hoped that with the ban, which affects all, like everyone, except for those that are enrolling on postgraduate research courses, or the ones that have been fully funded by government will cut uh, migration by tens of thousands. Now, this was the announcement on their social media account on X, exactly, which Rishi Sunak um, retweeted, and it says, changes to student dependent rules now in force. That is the news for you right there, now in force. It started January 1st this year, and they have been announcing it even before that day. Let's bring some thought at this point. Dr. Andy Palmer says, international students in the 2021-2022 academic year contributed 41.9 euro billion to the UK economy. Even when accounting for dependents and other costs, international students are a huge net contributor to the UK economy. Every 11 non-EU students generate 1 million euro worth of net economic impact for the UK economy. I hope someone in the home office did the economics on this. Dr. Victor says this policy will change within three years. Why? International student numbers will drop drastically. University funding will be affected significantly and they will lobby, bribe members of parliament to push a U-turn three years. He says that's the deadline for him there. And then Van Robin says, um, what if this decision results in small numbers of foreign student enrollment into UK universities? Maybe they've soft their mass before today. And um, final thought from Stephen on this says, students and their families are not the main problem. It is the illegal migration. If you, not, if you have not arrived by the official routes, remove them immediately. Well, I think they have already solved their mass put all the things together before they finally arrived at this decision. Now, reactions are still trailing the proposal by the House of Representatives to criminalize non-payment of salaries by employers of labor and corporate bodies across the country, Nigeria. Now, when this is passed into law, employees can go to court to make their employers pay them. And if they found them guilty, employers risk three to six months of imprisonment with no option of fine. Now, that petition must not serve as grounds for disciplinary action, suspension, or even termination of employment of the petitioner who is the employee. Now, if you fail to obey court order as an employer, you will have to pay 10,000 naira daily or have your business sealed up for about three months. However, if you are dealing with bankruptcy, it is only fair that you prioritize who you pay first. The bill also makes provision for that. It was sponsored by the member representing the Agege Federal Constituency in Lagos State, Wale Hamed, and it is titled Employees Remuneration Protection Bill 2023. And you know what? It has passed its first reading, so this might just be a law anytime soon. But there are reservations on the space of social media. First one is from me, who says, many state governors should get ready to be jailed. Which employer or worker salaries like state government? The House members are jobless, proposing laws that will never work. And then for Mushrifa, she says, proposing jail term for governors who will not appear in court when they are summoned when there is justice, there will be hope for common Nigerians. And then Tektronik says, why don't we, the citizen, propose jail term for house members who refuse to implement their constituency project? Okay. And for Rashid, he says, then what do you do to petition, to pension administrators, PENCOM, who refuse to pay retiree after one, two, three years of retirement? waiting for he or her demas so as to negotiate with their next of kin 50-50 after they have been killed 
with hunger and starvation. I mean, this is a huge one right there. Maybe something to even investigate because it is a big um, allegation and accusation right there. And people who should, should take that into action. But that's how we call it a day today on Kakaki Social. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I'll see you again tomorrow. And the show would return with the ladies on the table, but we have to.